in even the district 80% of the population is youth and 20% are adult C. The district has 16 sub counties where government programs like parish development model, youth livelihood program, UWEP for women and SAGE for elderly are being implemented. However, most of the youth in the district are unaware of the 30 percent they are supposed to receive from the PDM program. The assistant RDC Ibanda Banjo Richard urged the youth to avoid engaging in protests and instead access funds from the youth livelihood program to start businesses. Minister of gender. So uh, for us as youth, when we that money bounces to the treasury, the national treasury, it is a, a disservice to us. And how do we know these programs? Let us engage in uh, adornment activities, the youth. Let's not uh, engage ourselves in uh, riots. Huh? Let's not waste time to be in trading centers during morning hours. Let us work. Huh? If there is some current at your home, you can utilize that land. You can plant coffee. Uh, let us uh, embrace all government programs. Some leaders in Ibanda claim that people have not benefited from government programs. They note that while the president has supported Gete youth and several organizations have aided street children, the district faces challenges such as high rates of school dropouts and need similar support. At least extend a hand in Ibanda because as I talk right now, we also have the street kids around. We have the dropouts and the number of dropouts are increasing day by day. And uh, we have other of our colleagues who have failed to get capital. So if they can extend a hand this side, at least in Ibanda, we can be proud of our country. Through the Ibanda NRM Youth and Zone Skills Initiative, groups have been formed in various vocational occupations, including motor vehicle mechanics, welding, farming, catering, auto management, and tailoring. When you have a diagnosis machine, you can put and identify the problem and you know where to start from. But when you get stuck in Ibanda here, there is no way of that until when you think of taking it back to Kampala. The youth are asking government to support them with the funds to purchase modern tools and equipment for their garages and workshops. We are calling upon the government through our His Excellency President of Uganda, Yoweri Kagutam Seven, to help us as he always helps like people in Central to also touch us like Bazukulo here in Ibanda so that we can also achieve. They also highlight that although they have acquired this knowledge, they lack certificates to help them find jobs elsewhere and request the government to extend programs like those of the Directorate of Industrial Training to certify them. Robert Katamba, UBC News.